Matchbox 130 second scale British Commandos. This is the last out of the six uh, Matchbox sets produced in the late 70s, early 80s. Started with the, the Germans at P6001. This is P6006. As always, nice box. I always like the bigger artwork here. One soldier bigger. Maybe this is a Browning High Power. Otherwise, I like the that they have using some of the figures that are actually in the set. Naval battle in the back going on there. It says 13 combat troops. All the other ones had um, 15. This one has two little extra things in it. On the side, a couple of prone soldiers. On this side, you have the brain gunner. On this side, of course, as always, some of the poses, two of the prone soldiers are missing. The back looks a little bit different. This is a 1983 box. And the earlier ones, of course, had the little square with the actual size and the different languages there with the flags for painting instructions. I like that a little bit better, but it's all the same. It's a, it's a nice box as always from Matchbox. Let's check out the figures. Figured I'd start with what I would call the officers of the set. Um, these two are both wearing berets while the other soldiers are wearing the knitted caps. And also, of course, if you have a pistol only in a toy soldier set, that usually makes you an officer, right? This is kind of a weird pose. You can look in the in the close-ups later, but it's it's a it's a nice figure. It's not bad. Maybe a Browning high power. I think the holster looks um, kind of like the real deal. This one is really cool. Both me and my son really like it. You know, an officer kneeling, telling someone to move up. Stem gun slung on the back, also really cool. This is a favorite post, favorite figure of mine. As far as firing poses, there's only really four in this set. You got the officer, and then you have the submachine gunner, which is a very nice pose, very nice figure. Looks so cool. And then I guess you could call this a firing pose. Uh, he's, at least he's throwing something. Uh, very nice figure, and this is something that makes me happy, that he is actually holding on to his uh, main weapon while doing this which most of the time in toy soldier sets they're not and it drives me nuts anyways you're kind of standard um, running poking someone with a sharp blade soldier then you have these two that are kind of cool uh, i went on and on about in the german mountain troops that there were boring figures and one of the boring figures were this one kind of like this one but this one I like, and I, it, there's something about this set that reminds me of, of like a 70s movie, uh, you know, where Eagles Dare and those, uh, a small band of soldiers doing a super special mission. So this one is still is really cool, actually, and this one is super awesome. I just wish she had a rifle or something, but, you know, sneaking up on someone with a knife, that's like totally 1970s movie, right? Otherwise, you got your standard low position crawling with a rifle soldier. You have this one that's really cool with a Tommy gun and what looks like maybe a K-bar. Very nice little figure sneaking up on someone. Then, of course, the brand gunner. You need some kind of heavy firepower even though you're a small unit, right? And then this in this set, there's a few a little bit <laughs> weirder figures but i guess you need a ladder if you're a commando usually i think the fire department use the ladders but in this case it's the commandos it's not a very long ladder so i'm not sure what you're going to get up with it but it's kind of cool and it's got the uh, stand gun slung which makes it um, more realistic and then you have this one that's that's really really funny the guy actually paddling the rubber dinghy and you get the dinghy with this set but again this makes this set it makes it so that you want to play like small scenarios uh, when you were a kid sneaking up on a german position right and then you know the officer says to everybody you know come up move up and then this guy is gonna stab someone so yeah all in all i think this is a super cool little set with some really cool fun soldiers and again, Matchbox, I guess it was Bill Farmer that did these. And 
they're just playful. They're, they're a lot of fun. I'm not saying they're exact replicas or not, but yeah, 100% enjoyment. So that was the last one of um, the Matchbox sets. I'm going to do a little comparison between the sets and my son's going to have a look at them as well. He, he kind of likes these, even though he's 15 now. And um, that's it for this time. Hopefully you guys check out the next video and stay around for the close-ups. Uh, catch you guys later. Cheers.